Hi, I'm Kim, and you're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free and stay free. If you're new to my channel, please visit Kim Wilson TV at YouTube. We have approximately 500 videos there on the subject. When victims of narcissistic abuse wake up to the reality that something has gone horribly wrong in our lives, it's very common for victims to start to do a lot of research. We want to know everything we can find out about this condition. And I want to talk about this today. We discover information about the cluster Bs, the antisocial disorder, the borderline personality disorder, the histrionics, and the narcissist. We also discover there are other classifications of conditions known as a cluster A and cluster C. Another thing that really starts to happen very quickly is we start to see all the lines being blurred. There are characteristics that someone from the antisocial classification has that blends right into what's going on with the histrionics, which just starts to blur again into the other conditions. The cluster A conditions merge into the cluster B and C conditions, and it just becomes a sea of very, very muddy and murky water. Victims will start to break down every aspect of every classification like somehow it matters. But ultimately, in the giant scheme of things, does it really matter if the creature destroying your life leans a little bit more towards manipulation or a little bit more towards having a ridiculous fear of abandonment to the point that they will cause the abandonment because in their minds it's imminent? I mean, in the end... You can split hairs all day long. You can research this subject until your head explodes. But I think there's something much more important going on here. Many times in videos, we have looked at all the things that you lose, we lose, when we're involved with a narcissist. I mean, right from losing your mind to losing your sense of self to losing your money, uh, your career falls apart. But all of those things can be regained as we heal. And we see this over and over again. Victims are able to completely restore their lives. But the one thing that we are never getting back is the time lost. Some of us lose six months. Some of us lose five years. Some of us lose 20 years. Now, that in itself is a horrible shame because that is how we define our lives. We define our lives by the passing of time and the things that we're able to accomplish over that timeline. So much more than just losing time to these monsters, we are losing big pieces of our lives. Now, since getting away from Captain Bucket of Crud, I have had the distinct displeasure of having my life infiltrated by two absolute she-demons. Now, when I consider the conditions that Trevor had, yes, he was highly manipulative. Yes, he was highly deceptive. And then I consider the conditions of these women, one absolutely obsessed with the concept of abandonment, the other an absolute Jezebel she-demon. You know, yes, variables. There were variables between these three people, but what remained the same was the way I felt in their presence. Though they presented with slight variations of this soul depravity condition, ultimately, it comes down to how I felt. I felt sick around them. I felt disgusted around them. Uh, aspects of my life were definitely being sabotaged. I wasn't in a situation where I was just moving forward with easy strides. I was finding myself back in damage control. Ultimately, it comes down to how we feel in their presence. When we're in the presence of these things, clearly, our lives will start to deteriorate immediately. And this is not happening by accident. And all too often, victims are going to become very, very focused on the creature, trying to figure out what's wrong with the creature, splitting hairs about the condition of the creature, when what we need to focus on is ourselves, how we feel around them, how we need to stop that hemorrhaging of time, stop feeling bad about things, and start to put our lives back on track in a positive way. 
ultimately, it doesn't matter if the thing leans more towards abandonment issues, if it is more cunning, if it's more deceptive, if it's more manipulative, if it's got a stronger leaning towards relationship issues. It, none of this matters. What really matters is the way we feel when they are in our lives. Sure, when looking at them, there are variations, but I don't see a lot of variations for the ultimate outcome for victims. They feel that their lives are in shambles. They're living on eggshells. Everything's falling apart. They feel sick. They feel sorry. They feel sad. They're blaming themselves or in an absolute state of confusion. Ultimately, we all experience the same thing despite the slight variations in their conditions. If your vision of what's going on in the world today is clear, then you know that this time needs to be about you. You need to get your head clear. You need to have your emotional wellness intact. You need to be spiritually connected to your higher power. You need to be as physically fit as you can possibly be. You need to be solidifying positive allies in your life. Focusing on the narcissist is just a time drain. Therefore, it's draining your life away from you. When being around one of these things leaves you feeling sick and sad and broken and confused, when you're feeling bad being around someone, enough said. I don't care if they're leaning a little bit more towards, you know, relationship issues or they're leaning a little bit more towards having, you know, uh, more deception in their lives. I don't care about any of that. What I care about is getting them out of my life as quickly as possible so I can continue on with my healing and making positive strides in my life. These are unprecedented times, my friends, and it is very, very important that you focus on yourself, focus on healing, focus on what you can do today, tomorrow, and the next day to ensure your future is going to be a little bit brighter. Your time will be better spent if you focus on your healing and your recovery today. I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. I hope you're having a great NARC-free day.